Welcome back everybody, my name is Alexander Vlad and in today's video we're going to create this animation After Effects, pretty easy to do, no plugin required, so let's get started. So let's begin by creating a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 fps and 10 seconds, press ok. Now let's create a new background new solid and for the color let's make it 37F851 press ok now we have a background let's also rename it to BG and now let's create a new shape you can take the rectangle tool and double click on that now for the fill let's choose a blue color something like 0587C4 press ok and now take the pen tool and make sure here you have the tool creates mask button selected and then let's just create a mask around this shape something like this also press F for the feather and increase the feather to about 300 300 and something okay now let's create another shape but before that let's rename this one to blue now again double click on this rectangle, let's give it a pink color something like AD00DC, take again the pen tool, make sure we have this button selected and let's create again a mask around it, it doesn't have to be perfect, you can always adjust it, something like this, press again F40 feather and increase it to about 300 again something like this let's rename the layer to pink and now let's create another one double click on the rectangle let's choose another color something like a light yellow for example D9E117 take again the pen tool make sure you have the tool creates mask button and let's create again another mask Press F for the feather and increase the feather to about 200 and something. Okay, let's rename the layer to yellow. And now let's create the last one. Double click again on the rectangle tool. Take the pen tool. And let's create a big mask around the shape. Alright, something like this. Now let's change its color. FC. 4364 press again F4 the feather and increase the feather to about 400 something like this now you can obviously change the mask modify it to your liking alright and that's it with this composition let's also give it another name like gradient and now let's create another composition let's call it final and let's take the gradient drag it into this composition and let's apply a fast box blur let's search here in the effects and presets search for a fast box blur effect double click on it and for the radius i'm going to increase this to about 200 and something about 270 repeat edge pixel all right now it looks much better let's also add another effect like posterize and increase the level to about 10 all right and another effect like turbulent displacement turbulent displace actually and for the amount i'm going to increase this to about 360 and for the size 100 that's fine for the evolution, let's click on the stopwatch, now press U to reveal the effect, hold ALT and click again on the stopwatch and let's write here time multiplied by 100. And now you can see that the gradient is moving, is twisting a lot. So let's create now, actually let's duplicate this one with Ctrl D and this one will be gradient 2. And for the fast box blur, I'm going to decrease this to about 170 
I'm going to delete the posterize effect and for the turbulent displays I'm going to change the amount to about 1200 and the size 100 that's fine. For the evolution again we have the same expression time multiplied by 100. Let's now add another effect like rough on edges. So double click on it. Let's change the type to cut and increase the border to about 65. Something like this. Now change the mode of the layer to classic color dodge. You can see that you can see that the rough on edges effect just added a little bit of realism to the edges, making them more more twisted and I don't know, like it's just a cool effect. Alright, so now let's add another effect like the CC white time, double click on it and increase the forward step to about 80 and the backward steps to about 90. And now it's going to take a while to render but let me just render it for one minute. Yes, yeah, so now it looks much better. It looks kind of oily texture, <laughs> but that's fine. Now let's add another, actually let's play a little bit more <clears throat> with the rough on edges. Maybe we should decrease the sharpness to zero and, and also the fractal influence to 0 0.5. All right, now let's take the text tool and let's write disrupt or whatever you like. Let's align the text in the center also, let's change the distance between letters to zero. And also the distance between words, between lines actually, to auto. Now let's take only the this word and increase the space between the letters. something like this and also the space between the lines about 400 yeah that's fine align again the text to the center and now right click on the text layer and choose create and then create shapes from text now let's change the fill to another color something like c0 d681 all right now let's add a displacement map effect double click on it and for the layer i'm going to choose the gradient 2 and here make sure you have the effects and masks selected now change the displacement to luminance and increase it to about to about 100 and something also the vertical one to minus 100 and something minus 150 all right now let's duplicate the effect again change the layer to gradient and change the horizontal displacement to about 100 and the vertical displacement again to 100 now let's add drop shadow to the text. For the distance I'm going to increase it to about just 8 so we can have a little bit of contour and for the direction 135 that's fine and now let's change the mode of the layer to hard light. Where is it? Where is it? Hard light. Two hours later. Yeah here. All right and now let's see how it looks. So it looks nice but I guess we could add another adjustment layer and just add a bit of contrast with the curves effect. So take the curves effect, create three points and just adjust them a little bit so we can have a little bit of contrast. Yeah, something like this. Now let me render it and I'm going to get back soon. So this is the final render, if you like this video make sure you leave a like or a subscribe, it would mean a lot to me and talk to you soon, bye!